So, where is facial recognition going in this new year, 2020, and maybe in the next few years? Well, I was doing a research um, on the internet and uh, quite frankly, I got really bored very, very quickly um, because a lot of the press and a lot of the, the attention is around uh, these security cases where people get identified and then uh, always the eternal debate whether or not, um, you know, the personal data is going to be stored if we're going towards a society where everybody's going to be uh, basically watch it and we're gonna have this big brother now without discarding that uh, the big issue I think uh, I, I like to focus more on things that uh, are a little bit more exciting if you like and the positive aspects of the application of artificial intelligence because that's what uh, it gives me a little bit to you know of excitement and um, I don't disregard that other part but let's focus on things that are more uh, more interesting and uh, here is First of all, what I want to do is this. I'm going to tell you uh, why the technology is evolving and what it is different. I've made a lot of interviews, um, particularly I would like you to look at my interviews with TrueFace from Los Angeles and Chuch.ai from uh, Silicon Valley and San Francisco, two unbelievable companies that are really changing their industries. And I'm talking about this as well. Um, I also have a number of really in-depth use cases in my course. The Artificial Intelligence Innovations Product and Process Course. You can find it on, uh, on Inodemia, by the way, so inodemia.com. Um, but this is this, so I want to talk about things that are really interesting. So if you thought, think of this, think of it for, for a second. What if you were to go to an hotel and you go to Las Vegas, let's say. When you go to Las Vegas, uh, you need to check in, you need to check out, then you go upstairs, if you want to buy some drinks, um, you have to find the cash. So even if it's not like a huge pain, it's still a pain. I mean, you have to stand in line. Sometimes you're kind of, a, you know, you end up in a hurry. Either you want to go and have fun or you have had too much fun and you want to go back to the airport. You just last minute to check out and all that waste of time. No. So, would it be great if you get into the hotel and you get, as soon as you get into the hotel, you get a text message with uh, the room number and you just get in and you get recognized your face and you can get in and out for the period of which you have paid for the room. You can, you know, you can get anything you like from restaurants and uh, um, any distributor, any, any machines that gives you uh, Coca-Cola, wouldn't it be like just nice to do that? Easy, you know, like easy so that you can focus and fun when you go to Las Vegas. I think it would be, I think it would be, and I think this is possible, this is coming. Um, that probably this year or next year we will start to see hotels that, uh, hotel chains that will allow at least for their, uh, for their high-end clientele. It would take a few more years for it to trickle down to the large masses. The services like this are coming. Now, why they're possible today, they were not possible before. So, of course, you would be tempted to say that it's because of deep learning, it is, it's because of the recent advancement in artificial intelligence. It is, but uh, uh, the real problem has been, and, and has been that uh, if you detect the face in a controlled environment where, let's say, you can put the camera in a certain place, uh, at a certain distance, you know that you know there is no rain, there is no fog, there is no uh, no environmental condition. Um, then this was possible already, probably 10 years ago, 15 years ago. This was completely possible. But if you have a guy, a dude, that's walking into a room from any direction, and you know the face can be like this, can be like that, can be like this. So it can be any directions. That that was not really possible. Directions, the change of luminosity the change of uh, atmospheric conditions, that was not really possible. And really, uh, there are lots of academic publications in this area, but it's really the companies that are pushing the boundaries of, uh, of applications here with, uh, uh, you know, ability to develop algorithms and also train them. So training mean, meaning 
uh, teaching them how to work, there was some precedent before. So another area where we'll see uh, potential, potential applications is the area of uh, cruising. Uh, so do you want to go on a cruise on the Caribbean? Uh, it's something I pretty much would do. And uh, today when you board in a ship, in a cruise ship, it's pretty much of a pain of uh, queuing, staying in line for quite a bit. What if you could actually get on board, get on board without, um, you know, wasting any time uh, and you get recognized right away? So those are some of the examples, things that you don't find in general literature that, uh, that would be possible, make life much, much easier. And then of course there is the security, the security compart. But one thing I found interesting in this in this area is not so much, you know, the terrorists and we understood and we can detect the terrorists before that. Yeah, I mean it's important, but um, you know it's more of the same thing, more of the same area, security than that gen that there is this this eternal debate between the security, public safety, and, and individual uh, freedom. So as I said, I don't don't get excited right now today talking about that. Um, one thing he said that excited me was when I discovered that Chuchu.ai was doing uh, interesting work with the defense, uh, but to do something very uh, interesting in the sense that until now, when you get into a military installation, I mean, you get checked in and out, in and side out, uh, you know, um, and, and they had to check your identity and everything. But what if, Everything can be done automatically and basically at the same time they do multiple checks, they check your face, they check the, 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 the they check your car, they check the VIN number, they check your car plate, all in one single, um, if you like, um, basically blink of an eye. And think of it, if they can do that today, it's possible to do it today. Um, in a few years we will see that this will go into the civil applications and then uh, think of it if we could finally get into an airplane without having to do all those cues or how much like our freedoms has been completely eroded in the last 20 years, 25 years and, and how much has been, how much pay toll has been um, added to our uh, flights, uh, it, it's unbelievable. So. Uh, some of these technologies will probably be utilized in the real uh, to an extent that I can only imagine exactly how the workflow will work, but it's going to become much easier. And uh, I think these are all very, very interesting applications. Of course, one of the uh, videos I did, I did, um, I did a video with uh, Gary Fowler. Uh, he's a venture capitalist um, and also an entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur from Silicon Valley and the world. Uh, he's traveling the world. And investors all around the world, and, and he was talking about the uh, facial recognition splash, computer vision in sport facilities to uh, basically protect sport facilities and sports events. And you know, uh, sports events are close um, are close to music events and other type of arts events, uh, and so on and so forth. But that's how you get in. It's not only um, the security part of it, but it's uh, how you speed up the getting in on there. When you buy a ticket, uh, people can recognize you and you can get in very quickly. So that's uh, the interesting world of uh, uh, face detections and how things are gonna expand. Uh, definitely this year, there's gonna be more applications. And uh, in the next few years, we will see some of the things I've been talking about trickling down to the common man and you will see them uh, happening uh, with hopefully a lot of time saving and a lot of uh, uh, more fun in Las Vegas to come. <laughs> okay, thank you.